Hi all, today I wanted to do a video on uh, codes at the end of ROMs, so your letters, your numbers, you know I found them confusing myself and I wanted to look into it to see what they what they all meant and I, and I thought I'd do a little video to, uh, to hopefully help you guys along uh, so you can understand what these all mean. Um, so I, I've taken a few actual ROM file names uh, like you can see up here uh, and with the first one here you have a U in the brackets and that's just a country code it, it means USA so it's a, a North American ROM and the V2 just means that it's uh, version 2 uh, with the second one um, the UNL actually means it's an unlicensed ROM uh, Nintendo really didn't like action replay so it wasn't a licensed product um, and the exclamation mark next to it is one of the more common codes this actually means that it's a verified good dump so this is what you want to be looking for in most of your ROMs uh, and you can see like the four underneath it also all have exclamation marks uh, coming down to the third one here UE um, so I, I've seen two different explanations of this uh, U being USA and E being Europe um, but also I've seen when you have two letters together like this it means a translation I think it's more the former um, uh, when we uh, come down to Zombies Ain't My Neighbours um, the, the new code we can see here is the C in the brackets uh, small c in brackets means that it's cracked um, so it could be like uh, getting rid of some piracy protection, something like that, or it could be cracked in another way. Um, when we come down to Revenge of Shinobi, there's a W. Uh, w actually means it's a worldwide release. The Rev 3 just means that it's uh, revision free of of that ROM. Uh, e, like I kind of mentioned above, is for Europe. Uh, coming down to this Color Per Row ROM here, the bit we're interested in is this PD. That means it's a public domain ROM. So th these are usually scene releases or demos. Uh, coming down to the next one, uh, PAL just means PAL, of course, but you've got this B1 in the square brackets, and the B code is usually for a bad dump. So there's, some, there's something wrong with this dump. So yeah, I'd usually avoid these. Uh, the next one down has an F. The F means uh, there's a fix involved. Um, not sure what the fix is for this uh, entirely. It could mean that it's been converted to NTSC. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, a. Uh, A's are quite common. So you can have A1, A2, A3, etc. Uh, it just means it's an alternate ROM. So still a good dump, but someone else may have dumped it and put it up. It's just an alternate version of that ROM. Uh, small T's mean uh, there's a trainer. So you might see at the beginning of the ROM what the trainer is, or you may have to find out some other way. But you know, these trainers can give you infinite lives or infinite other uh, abilities like ammo, something like that. Uh, o, O in square brackets means it's an overdump. So there's uh, more data on the actual car and the extra information it is useless. So it's not needed. It just, just means there's extra data that's not meant to be there. Uh, and of course there's a ton more codes uh, out there. Um, like here you can see I've put a list of the country codes, A Australia, C China, going down to UK. Um, but there's also a dash. Uh, and when, when, when you see a dash I found two, two different reasons for the dash. Uh, one is unknown country, but I've also seen it mean unknown year. And then we've got some other, um, other codes here, a small p means it's a pirate release, a large T is a translation, so if you're looking for a translated RPG, I'd be looking for something like this. 
X means it's a bad checksum. So it usually means the, the file is different from the original file that was created. Um, so it may have been tampered with. Um, and then there's kind of console specific codes. So like for the Genesis or Mega Drive, if you've got one, it's Japan for USA. Um, for the Game Boy, a large C would mean it's a color title and the S would mean it's a Super Game Boy title. And then for stuff like uh, the SNES, uh, if you see an FT, it's like a Sufami Turbo release. Um, and yeah, there are a ton more codes out there and special codes per platform, but I, I won't be covering them all. I'm hoping this lot helps you because this will be kind of the most common thing, common codes you'll come across. But if there's anything else you want to know, or if you'd like me to do a video with all the codes out there, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and this is the video. Alan out.